Saguaro National Park is located near Tucson, Arizona, and is home to over 2 million saguaro cacti. I recently spent an entire month in Tucson just so I could visit this park as much as possible, and I'm so happy I did. I love exploring desert landscapes, and this park did not disappoint. In today's video, I'll be sharing 10 tips for visiting Saguaro National Park. My first tip is to be aware that Saguaro National Park is divided into two sections, Saguaro West on the western side of Tucson and Saguaro East on the eastern side of Tucson. I highly recommend that you visit both sections of the park with whatever time you have. It'll generally take about 45 minutes to an hour to go from one side of the park to the other depending on the day. My second tip for visiting Saguaro National Park is to arrive early. The sunrises in this park are outstanding and you don't want to miss your opportunity to see one. And just a quick note, there is no filter on this clip. That is actually what it looked like. This is the Desert Discovery Nature Trail. It is a paved trail about half a mile and it has incredible views in the early morning and sunrise as you can see from this beautiful pink sky behind me. And both sides of the park are equally impressive for a sunrise. You honestly can't go wrong. Tip number three is to stop at the park's visitor center. So this is the Saguaro National Park Visitor Center, which I believe opens at 9. It is not quite 9 a.m. yet, um, but there's still lots of informational signs to see and a beautiful view out here. And the restrooms are open if you need to use those. This is also where you'll pay the park entrance fee if you don't have an annual pass, and you can also pick up a park map here as well. Tip number four for visiting Saguaro National Park is to walk the Desert Discovery Nature Trail. Whether you make it here for sunrise or not, this short trail is one of my favorites in the park, and it's honestly great any time of day. It's less than a half a mile, paved, and it's completely flat. It's also dog friendly. This trail gives you plenty of opportunity to see saguaro and other cacti up close. Tip number five is to make sure you make the drive along Bajada Loop Drive. This is a six mile unpaved road in Saguaro West. And while the road is not paved, most passenger vehicles will be just fine. I drove my Fiat 500 down the road and came out unscathed. Along Bajada Loop Drive, you'll find some of the park's most impressive landscapes, along with the popular Valley View Overlook Trail and the Signal Hill Petroglyphs. Tip number six is to visit the Arizona Sonora Desert Museum before you leave Saguaro West. While technically this museum is not inside Saguaro National Park, it's just a few minutes away and well worth a visit. The park features several gardens displaying plants and cacti native to the Sonoran Desert. You'll also get to learn about animals and insects native to the desert, and you'll even get to see some javelinas up close. There's also a small aquarium section with different types of fish and eels. And this museum is one of Tucson's most popular attractions, so since you'll be right next to it, you might as well stop by. Tip number seven for visiting Saguaro National Park is to not skip Saguaro National Park East. To be completely honest, I actually like Saguaro East much more than I liked Saguaro West. Now, Saguaro National Park West is where a lot of the bigger attractions are, so that part of the park gets busier. But the east side of the park is quieter and more peaceful, and I just think this side of the park has a completely different feel than Saguaro West. So I wouldn't skip this. If you have the time, definitely make a point to come out this way. And tip number eight is to watch out for wildlife while driving along Cactus Forest Loop Drive in Saguaro East. There are lots of bunnies and other small creatures along the roadway here, so make sure that you're driving slowly and cautiously as you make your way through the park. Tip number nine for visiting Saguaro National Park is to bring your own food and water. There aren't any restaurants or anywhere to buy food or drink inside the park, so be sure to bring snacks and plenty of water, especially if you'll be doing any of the hikes during your visit. There are multiple picnic areas on both sides of the park that you can use as well. 
And last but not least, make sure to stop by Javelina Rocks while exploring Saguaro East. This was my favorite spot on both sides of the park because you can't beat the views from here. It's also a great place to spot local wildlife like lizards and javelinas. Javelina Rocks is also the perfect place for a sunrise or a sunset. It's just a quick three to five minute walk from the parking area up to the top. Once there, you can climb up on one of the rocks and just enjoy the view. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you like what you've seen, please consider subscribing to my channel and Melvin and I will see you in the next one.